Hello. We are even better this time compared to any other time. We've got a blank card. We've got reasonable tier rate. We've got Tauros. It was pretty alright. It's pretty okay. I mean, we got something. We got something going on. Something that will hopefully take care of some of the enemies around here. We're not doing an overly large amount of damage or anything. But we have Tauros. So, in a second, we're going to become all high and mighty. Get on our high horse and destroy anything that moves. Unless we kill everything. And then we stop doing that immediately. Would have been nice if we had slightly more health, I suppose. But what are you going to do? We'll just find something cool in our item room and... Uh, it's just gonna make it work. That's gonna be the thing that's gonna keep us alive during this run. This is kind of an awkward room for us right now, though. Until Tauros activates, at least, then we'll just win. But until then, I can't really get close to this guy. This guy isn't really interested in letting me hug him. But here we are now. Death appears, and it's in the form of me. And we get even more tier 8. And there's a Tinder Rock over there. With some luck, we should be able to get a bomb somewhere along the line. We also... I'm considering using our blank card to just make a whole bunch of temperance machines. But I don't really have a reason to right now. But considering it, though. It's it's an option in my head. If, if I had more bombs... I think if I can, I'll probably end up placing a bomb in next to that Tinted Rock. Or maybe I'll just die beforehand because the spider just zooms in on me like that. That was a champion as well. That was a lot of health just gone just now. So that's really quite bad, actually. Still no bombs. Not really digging that too much, but oh well. At least there is a soul heart in there, so maybe that's going to help out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be destroying every single poop and every single what here and there and whatnot, because uh, I'm a little bit concerned right now, honestly. I'm a little bit concerned about our current situation. A little bit concerned about our current health situation, and if we can alleviate this concern, then I won't have to worry as so much anymore. Only one more coin, and then we can buy a soul heart. Hopefully we'll survive until that moment. Oh my god, there's just nothing here. Oh, okay, not digging this. This could go wrong. This could go wrong very quickly. At least we're fighting Pin, which is not the hardest boss in the world, but anything can go wrong, and it usually does. <laughs> But let's see if we can try and survive this. At least Tauros will activate pretty shortly. With some luck, we can do a reasonable amount of damage with that. It would be cool if we can get a... Oh my god, he was just right there. Oh, uh, but... Okay. Scary start, but we're... We're surviving. Our speed has gone down tremendously, really. And it's not so good. We don't really have anything we can do here. We just don't have a real game plan right now. Actually, I do have one. I have a game plan currently. And that game plan consists... Oh, but I was hoping that that was not behind things, but actually, no, it's not too bad. Uh, because the thing I can do is I can use this machine and go all the way to my challenge room or sacrifice room or... Whatever it may be called, this wonderful day. Go all the way back and use it again. And get coin number five. To buy that soul heart. Kind of an awkward way of doing anything, really. But its I feel like it's going to help out in the long run. It's going to make our run at least a little bit safer. And there's really not much else we can do anyway. We can't buy a bomb. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for that tinted rock. Probably would have just used our Tempest card normally instead of using the blank card. Uh, next to that Tinted Rock, blown both up and maybe get some cool stuff out of it, but... What are you gonna do? Nothing we can do about it right now. We're just gonna have to go for the health option. And hopefully we can get something cool along the line. It would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice if we could get something neat instead of just flies and spiders literally all over our face. That's not really the nicest thing to get. Flies and spiders everywhere, crawling all over your lovely little head. And not much we can do about it either. <laughs> At least we have the coins to open up our shop and our uh, item room on this floor. So we got that going for us. Not really going to go into the shop just yet because I don't really have a reason to. Because I have a single coin. And that's not going to buy me very much now, is it? No. Oh my god. These guys are moving very erratically today. I don't know what it is. Something about them just feels a little bit off. It feels like they are desperately trying to murder me. And I guess I'll take this because it's better than nothing. Apparently the way this works is actually a little bit different, by the way. Like, I thought it act like it chose at the start of the floor. 
what the effect of this item is, but apparently it's just whatever uh, is, like, applicable at the time, if I understand correctly. Like, if I take damage, there's, like, a 30% chance or something like that that the effect happens. And the effect that happens will then be something that's the choice between XX and X or something like that. Like, and it's I've already kind of forgotten what the effects were, but one of them is, like, the death card effect, I believe. So that could be kind of useful every now and again, but preferably I just don't take damage. Okay, virus. Still not overly impressed by what we got going on. Still not a single bomb has dropped, which is uh, strange, but I'll just be clearing out the rest of this floor, I guess. Not much else I can be doing right now, except for clearing out this floor and hope that we get a bomb somewhere. Although we don't really have a reason to get a bomb, like to use a bomb, I suppose. I haven't actually seen any tinted rocks yet, but that may be because of the darkness. The darkness may be overcoming my face. Oh my god, this dude's movement, though. He was ready to take me on, and take me on he did. Still not a bomb. Still not a bomb. <laughs> I am glad I bought that soul heart, though, because even though it was a bit fiddly to buy, at least now I still have an extra soul heart remaining, so that is at least a little bit safer. And none of these fires? All right, cool. None of the fires had anything inside them, I guess. <laughs> Happens. Not very common when there's ten fires in a room, but, you know. Things happen. Not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Um, yeah. This is uh, kind of awkward, I guess. I guess one thing I could do is um, place another temperance machine down. Just get the battery and just uh, put a coin in there. Oh, we actually got the shield effect from... I believe it is actually from the trinket that does that. So we actually ended up getting a couple of coins from that. Which was surprising. Did not actually expect that to happen, but it gives you an idea what this little piece of paper can actually do. It can actually be quite useful, but we'll see how useful it's going to be for the remainder of the run. Taking red heart damage from a blood donation machine does not decrease the odds of uh, a devil deal either, which is nice. I'm tempted to get that champion's belt. I'm not really sure yet. I'm actually going to just try and kill the boss, and afterwards we'll see what I get. Or we get the blighted ovum and I just die, but... Either way, I'm going to try not to die, and have a great day. But I'm tempted to get that champion's belt. It, it will make our run a little bit more dangerous, probably, but it will also deal a little bit more damage. And damage is kind of necessary right now. We don't really have any. We mostly have tier 8, and tier 8, and more tier 8, and we're only getting more tier 8 with every item we pick up. Guppy's hairball? I don't know. This is a questionable one. If, there's a gu uh, if there was a guppy item in there, I would have considered it, but... I just don't have the health for it right now. It's a little bit too risky for my taste. A little bit too risky. So... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. Champions... I don't know. I think I'll take the health instead. I think I'll go with the health instead of the champion's belt. Because we do have decent tier rate right now, and that should at least block some enemies of getting close to us, so that might work out. I don't know. This, this run's getting a little bit wacky for me, but... We'll see what happens later on in the run. I suppose we might still get some good stuff. That room is looking pretty tempting. If we can teleport out of that room, that will be pretty good. If we can get like a Hermit card or a Stars card, maybe even a Fool card, would be pretty great. Telepills would also work, I suppose, but I'd rather just stick to having Tarot cards. And if we can get that item which lets us carry around more than a single Tarot card, that would actually be pretty useful with the blank card, obviously. Oops, careful now. Our lack of damage is really becoming quite noticeable here because it takes quite a few shots to kill these guys, but they don't have to do, unfortunately. There's just nothing we can do about it. We're just gonna have to shoot a lot and accurately as well. Taurus barely activates right now, by the way, because our speed is just tremendously low. It's actually quite unfortunate, and that was just bad. That was actually just bad, but oh well. Like, if we're, the towers activates once your speed reaches a certain point, and the lower your speed is, the longer it takes to activate. And I kind of hope it doesn't actually activate here, because that would just be a waste of time, but... Here we go. Oh, our first bomb! Wow! I didn't actually think we'd ever get one this run, because we hadn't gotten one in two floors. Not a single bomb in two floors' time. Like, what are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Uh, I think I'll go... <laughs> I think I'll go just look for my item room first before dealing with more bosses. I'm a little bit scared of bosses right now. And I can't really fight them very well. I'm tempted to see my secret rooms up there, though. Actually, could it even be there? Let's go back to that room to the right, because I'm pretty sure it can't actually... Yeah, it can't actually be there, so that would be a waste. That would definitely be a waste of 
resources, of which we have a very limited amount right now, so we need to be a little bit more careful with what we got. We need to be a little bit more careful with the items that we use and don't use, so... We're just gonna play it safe. Go in here. <laughs> Charm of the Vampire. If we ever get Red Hearts, we're gonna have a decent build at least, but... Uh, it's not looking too great right now. Not looking too saucy. Not liking it so far. But maybe we can get something cool out of that challenge room. Maybe we can get something cool out of our curse room as well. I don't know. Everything's scary. Taking lots of damage, which really can be very easily avoided indeed. And then there's stuff like this where I just can't do anything. <laughs> Ugh. Don't like these rooms. Don't like this run. Don't like this run. This is just awful so far. Let's just get actually anything. I have found pills. But can we find pills that are actually good? Can we find a shop, maybe? Oh my god. Get away from me, guys. Get away from me. Far, far away from me. Just open, like, secret rooms and stuff with these bombs and then just leave. That would be lovely. And I'm gonna have to go into a big room eventually, I guess. At least this one's not too bad. This one can be taken out mostly from a fair distance, so it's... Oh, wow, never mind. The moment I say that, immediately tears fly perfectly in my direction. Couldn't just waited. Probably should have just waited, actually, and just until Tauros activated and just killed all of them that way, but... Oh, well. Impatience, that's what it gets you. Gets you nowhere. Nowhere at all. Ugh. No shop still. That's what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for my shop, but my shop's hidden. My shop's, uh... I don't know, I guess it's next to that other big room, which is probably gonna be one of the more nasty ones. Probably gonna be that one that has like the million diggy people inside them and it's just gonna destroy me at this rate, but hopefully we'll be okay. God, our speed though. If we can get a speed up, I'd actually really appreciate it. Speed down pills probably don't even do anything at this point just because we're moving so slow. It's kind of embarrassing really, but oh well. It would be cool if we can get a tarot card as well, something that's not temperance because we just don't have much use for it right now. Temperance isn't very useful to us right now, and it would be good if we could get something else. If we can get anything else, really, that would be lovely. Would be lovely. I don't know if my secret room can actually be here, but I'm just gonna risk it. Just in case. Eh. At least we got some coins out of the temperance machine, so it's good enough for me, I suppose, but... Would have been good. Yeah, this is one of the more nasty rooms, but we might be able to get something cool out of this tinted rock. Two bombs. Are you kidding me? I was looking forward to health, actually, or, or small rock, or anything, really. Something that's going to give me a little bit more damage, or speed, or health, or anything. But no. We got two bombs for the price of one. <laughs> Which, I guess, is not too bad, but... I was hoping for better things. I need a little bit more right now. I need a little bit of assistance. To survive this run. Something like this. Um, I guess I'll go for the health right now. I don't really think I'm going to get enough coins to actually be able to buy that compass, unfortunately. Unless we use that temperance card, but I don't know. Not digging the way this is looking so far. <laughs> maybe we can get something cool out of our maybe angel room or something like that. We might get an angel room this floor. We might just get nothing, but maybe we can get like the pentagram or something. Maybe a health up. Health up would actually be pretty appreciated because it would make our temperance card a lot better. And it, we would also be less likely to be dead, which is also quite preferable. Would be quite preferable indeed, but we'll see what we get, I guess. We'll see if we actually get anything at all. And if we don't, we'll just cry a little. We'll just cry slightly, but surely. And we're fighting Pestilence, which is not going to be a health up. That is definitely going to be either a meat cube or a bandage ball. And that is not really something I can use right now, so that's perfect. He is trying to trap me with those many explosions and is doing a pretty damn good job at it, too. Spawning a bunch of nasty enemies at the same time. I don't like it. Can this guy just, like, tower us me up and then we just run into him for a while? Because thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. There we go. And just carefully take down the last guy as well. Yeah, hopefully we can get an angel room indeed. I'm going to take the meat cube before doing that though. Habit, which is effectively pointless. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for the uh, keys this time around though. I'm going to see if we can maybe get... Ah, shame. Definitely a shame because we only need one more coin. <laughs> 
Uh, I think I'll go through the challenge room, I guess. I don't really know what else to do. I don't really know what else to do. We still haven't found a secret room, though. Uh, that's one thing to consider. Like, it's not to the right or left of that. It's not the one below here as well, so it's probably next to either my item room or my shop. Uh, oh, and we have Cursed Maze. I didn't even realize we had Cursed Maze until now. It's been very kind to us so far, honestly. Uh, okay, it's most likely next to my shop over here. In fact, I can probably just bomb over here. I could probably actually... It would have actually been better if I bought my donation machine. No, oh, it didn't work. It didn't matter. Like, um... The donation machine probably would have been a safer bet because we would have at least gotten coins just regardless. But this is fine too. Boop. Got the compass. The end is near. Still no real tarot cards though. Just, uh... Used up our temperance card in order to hopefully get some more coins. That didn't really... Well, it worked out. But... I was also kind of hoping to get some soul hearts from that fire, and we didn't. Let's go through this room a couple times. This room's nice. I like this room a lot. It's one of my favorite rooms, actually. Alright, let's do it. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. That was actually pretty much unavoidable as well. I don't know if I should take this one or a card. I mean, I've, obviously I want more health, so I guess this would probably be the better choice in the end. But I don't know. It's a weird choice. The piece of paper is one I usually don't take just because it's just less obvious what it does really like I'm just I tend to just forget what it even does and that's pretty much my reasoning as to why I don't take it very often but I don't know this should net me more like tarot cards though in the end I believe so that would be useful I don't think I can go into that curse room I don't think I can reasonably say that I can actually go in there right now with my health right now like, obviously, there could be something really good in there. There could be, like, a, a pact or the mark or something in there. Maybe even, like, a dead cat. But if there isn't, then I'm dead, pretty much. Like, I have so little health right now. So we need to get something good out of one of these floors. Otherwise, it's going to be a tricky one. It's already a tricky one, but... Oh, God. Well, this is not good. Yeah, they just ganged up on me right there. Not much I could have done there because my speed's just so low. My speed is so terrible right now, and if I take damage from either one of these guys, I'd die. So, yeah, good start of the floor so far. My low speed is just preventing me from surviving this, unfortunately. My low speed is definitely not helping me out with this one. Need to get something good out of the, either the item room or just somewhere. I just need to get some health, really. Any health at all will do, but I need to get it. I need to get it at all. Oh god, are you kidding me? That room as well? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't know how to get through that room without taking damage. I genuinely don't. I genuinely don't know a good way of getting through that room without without taking damage, so... Uh, God, keys, are you serious? I wanted to get, hopefully, a secret room here. Yeah. And... No bomb. Are you serious, dog? I need to get a bomb! I need to get a bomb to bomb through this room, because then I can just skip that scary room. And that would obviously be a lot better, but... Oh, no. Oh, well. I don't trust this at all. I do not trust this even remotely, but... Let's see if we can manage. At least we managed to get some distance on these guys. And if we can just keep them away, then eventually Tauros will activate and we'll actually be able to kill these guys. Still no damage up at all, either. Just only tier 8 right now. Tier 8 and Tauros is just mostly slowing us down as well, which is kind of silly, really. It's a good thing we got the health up early on, though, because we would not have been able to survive so far without this Red Heart. This Red Heart has pretty much been the only thing keeping us alive in the end, so... At least we got something out of it, but... Ugh. Just... Ugh. Come on. Slowly but surely, kill them from a distance. Ugh. So far, we're staying alive, though, but... Any really bad room and we're just dead. It's just, that's just how it is right now. Any bad room, and like a particularly bad room, and we just die. Like our slow speed is just going to make it unpreventable. So we need to be a little bit lucky here at least. Maybe get a bomb from clearing this singular room. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm too scared to go into my boss room right now as well. Like my boss room is not looking too good with... One heart, pretty much regardless of which boss it is. This is not good either, obviously. His random tears might actually just completely screw me over here, so this is really scary. I don't like this at all. Oh, boy. 
Like those random tears at the purple champion shoot, they can just insta-kill you. Oh boy. And dealing damage to any of them right now is just really tricky with both of them still being alive, but... Come on. Open up, please, at all? Are you serious, dog? At least we got the scary one, so now... There we go. God, they were not cooperative. They just stayed closed pretty much throughout the entire duration of Tauros there. Oh, boy. This run so far, man. This run. Give me something here. Throw me a bone. Like, come on, game. Give me something that allows me to survive. I need that bomb really badly. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to risk it. Just took some damage as well. So, Oh, God. And these guys are just moving at random. At least we got our health back thanks to the charm of the vampire. So at least that's paying off out of all items in the game that are unlikely to pay off. <laughs> at least charm of the vampire is doing its job right now. But oh, God, this run. I'm just gonna save this run over and over in the hopes that somehow, somewhere, some random god can hear me and give me some l good luck or something, but... Ugh. Just give it! Give me a bomb. A bomb is gonna help me out a lot. Or Kane's Eye. I guess that's also like a bomb in that it, it isn't. So that's good. That's great. Thanks, game. Thank you for listening to my pleas. I, I, this is this is exactly what I needed. But at least this room, these rooms we're getting so far, outside of like the one with the two skull people, aren't too bad. Like they're manageable. They're at least manageable rooms. So like we're not dying, but we're also the amount of bomb drops that we've gotten so far is ridiculous. We've gotten like a really low amount of bombs so far, and I don't understand how we can be this unlucky. <laughs> Uh, I think we used up all of our luck on the early runs, and since then, it's just all gone downhill. Like, uh, since then, we've really had to struggle to get through, or most of the time, at least. Like, you play 70 runs, and you get 70 good luck runs, but then after that, it's, it just got downhill, unfortunately. Gold chest in there, I'm actually tempted to take it, honestly. Like, we, we got five keys. Keys are pretty much the only thing we got right now, so we might as well, I guess. The only thing that's really keeping us alive right now. I'm gonna get rid of that fire before any of these guys jump into it because that's gonna make them a lot more aggressive when they set fire to themselves, which is a scary mechanic, but very functional for them. It's a very functional mechanic for these guys because they get really scary when they're on fire. They get a lot more aggressive. And obviously, I think anyone would be pretty aggressive when they get set on fire, but still. <sighs> Not a single bomb on the entire floor. Incredible. I guess we're just gonna have to damage through probably like my speed Is too low to get through that room without taking damage and even if my speed was normal It would not be easy to do nearly ran into the spikes there actually, which is kind of ridiculous. Oh God Look at this right here though All right Okay, so that's, I guess, a way to get through that room without taking damage. Never actually considered doing it that way before. I feel like... I feel like that wasn't an option previously, but actually that option is actually very much there. And I just never noticed it until now. Like that... That little, like, chasm over there where you have to stand on the spikes for, like, a small amount of time. But a scary enough amount of time, I guess. Well, at least we got bombs. <laughs> at least we got bombs out of that, but... It's not what I want. It's not what I want right now. Oh, yeah, good greed. Out of any possible thing to get in a shop right now. This is actually the first floor where it would be possible to get greed as well. So we're actually really lucky in that regard. We're really lucky in our greed luck right now. Because this is kind of, yeah, this is Caves 2. That's the first time where greed is able to spawn throughout the run. So uh, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Because we need money, of all things. Of all things to be required. To survive this right now. We needed more money, obviously. So, very good. Top notch. I'm not gonna go through that room again. Also, rock spawn when you like, re-enter it. It's weird. Would have been nice if one of those rocks was a little bit more tinted than the other ones, but it was not to be. Uh, there's a battery in there, but it's pointless because we still haven't gotten a tarot card just ever. Like, we got that temperance card, and since then, it's just not been anything. Um, I guess I'll look for a super secret room, which is probably either here or to the right, maybe? Yeah. And that may contain... Hey, It actually was pretty good. All things considered, that was pretty much as good as it was gonna get. These... Get... Wow, are you kidding me? 
That was incredible. He just went directly for me. He was just merciless there. Which is good. I like it when they do that. He also cost me an entire heart of damage, which I didn't actually know this guy dealt. But there you go. You learn something new every day about Chubb. At least now we finally have some movement speed, so we can just kill him. Uh, okay, thank god, thank god, thank god. That might actually be quite useful. <laughs> That's going to give us more damage. It's going to give us more speed, although marginally, I suppose, because Talros is a pretty hefty speed down. But that definitely made the run a lot more viable, if anything. So I'm at least fairly grateful for what we got right now. That tier 8 is making our magic mushroom shot a little bit better as well, obviously. I'm actually waiting for Talros to activate here because... I don't like this. I I don't want to deal with this, and I I'm scared. Like I I need to conserve my health as much as possible right now, and this is just how it's going to be done. This is just pretty much the way. Probably should pick up that child's heart, thinking about it, because that should give us more red hearts to spawn. But then again, like we don't have that many heart containers right now, so I don't know if that's really a good call. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, but I don't know. Lust, that's not too bad. Kind of hoping we could get maybe a Tinted Rock in this room, but... Nope. Was actually kind of hoping for Gluttony as well, and hoping that he would give the less than three item, give us another heart, but no. I found pills again. Blah. And no secret rooms next to this curse room again, so that's perfect. <laughs> Just peachy perfect indeed. Just let me pass through, please. Thank you very much. I guess I'll go into the direction of my shop. Like, that seems like a pretty good idea. At least now we actually get to see the sad bombs. More than more often than not, we'll have some bomb upgrade, which makes them just look like Bob's curse bombs or something like that. But now we actually get to see the proper sad ones. And I do love me a bit of sadness every now and then, so that's pretty useful. Uh, well, I know my strategy for this room. I'm just going to wait here for a bit until uh, we're just about ready to become towel roast up. Like, now wish I think would be probably good. There we go. That was a good amount of time that I waited there. I'm actually going to blow up all these things in the hope that it's going to give me some health, but not looking too good so far. Nothing. Nothing at all. This run is actively trying to destroy me, but it's... I'm not going to let it happen. Not going to let it happen. I will survive through this just out of sheer spite. That's pretty much the only thing keeping me alive right now. Just the sheer desire not to be dead right now. This run is not going to stop me. I'm having a great day. This run is not going to stop me at all. Um, I mean, it could be here, actually. There is a chance that my secret room's here. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That would have been pretty cool if it was there, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're just going to stand over here and shoot tears from a distance, is what we're going to do. We are not getting close to that disaster area right there. We're just going to take it nice and slow. We got all the time in the world. And we just don't have all the health in the world. So we have to make a choice. We have to make a choice. And this is the choice I've made. And hopefully it's going to end up being the right one. Going to be a little bit more careful with my bombs from this point on. This is a really big floor actually thinking about it. But alright. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can maybe get ourselves another soul heart. Would be cool if we can go into that curse room. It's a little bit more viable now at least. So... It's an option. I guess I'll take that. Just because people are always so positive about it. Um, I don't really want to do anything else there. Also, no, pretty much no, no tarot cards. Which makes this blank card a little bit less than desirable. A lot of skulls still on this floor, obviously. Which can all contain a tarot card as well. If we can get a sun card out of one of those or something like that, that would be really good. Also kind of surprised it didn't take damage there, given how close we were to those enemies, but... It worked out, and that's all I care about. There we go. And who are we fighting today? It is Loki. Well, that's not too bad, hopefully. That has a theory, uh, theoretical chance of not being too bad in any case. This Spike dude is being pretty horrible right now, though. The Spike actually does have, like, some reasonable good, like, pathfinding behind it every now and again. It's pretty good at being perfectly in the way. I don't even know if it actually is intended to or not, but it's usually quite good at it. Squeezy? I'll come back for those. I definitely will be going into my curse room with those two soul hearts over there, though. That seems too good to pass up. I'm going to break some of these skulls, I think, as well. 
in the hope that we might get either some black hearts or some tarot cards. At least we got some tarot cards. Tower, tower, and the moon. I'll use the moon, I guess. Why not? Nothing stopping me there and immediately get that. I think I'll keep the moon. Like, although, um, let's quickly check actually if tower actually is a bunch of sad bombs or not because that, oh, that's really good. That's actually really damaging to everyone. So I don't know because that's also kind of dangerous. If I had pyromaniac, I definitely would have taken tower, but now I'm considering it. Now it's an option. It's a considerable option, is, is what it is currently. Oh boy, get out of my face immediately with those random tears you shoot, purple guy. Oh, didn't mean to run into that, but it doesn't matter too much right now. There's still enough hearts to heal me back up again if I need to stay alive, so... Like, this floor has been quite kind in that regard. Quite odd that we chose not to pick up the... Uh, Isaac's heart, or the child's heart, or, heart, or whatever it's called, and... Ended up pretty much only getting red hearts, like no soul hearts at all. I think there's only like a very small chance that it will actually turn a red heart drop into a soul heart drop, but still. Oh, God, need to be careful with that, though. Do not want to get killed by a random spike, obviously. That's not a good idea. So mean that those deal with full heart of damage as well. It's quite rude indeed. Not a big fan of that at all, but what are you going to do? I'm tempted to actually... Um I can go in that room. I'm probably gonna use that moon card to just teleport out of there. Or I could teleport out of the curse room. Oh man, I didn't even consider that until now. I probably want to actually teleport out of that curse room thinking about it. Oh god, tower is... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just stand here and let it do its thing. Mm, oh, it actually perfectly missed. How perfect indeed. How perfect indeed. But we'll get through this. Yeah, moon card. Oh, never mind. That's not really worth it. But I think I'll use the moon card for the uh, curse room in any case. That's a little bit too good otherwise. Oh boy, this is not looking too great either. Oh boy. Yep, there they go. They might hit me for a reasonably large amount of damage. These spikes are being so butts right now as well, by the way. They're just trapping me all the time. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Uh, oh well. We got a plan. We, we're just going to very slowly wander towards that moon card again. We're just slowly going to wander in that general direction. And with some luck, we'll be able to just teleport out of our curse room, take a little bit less damage, and if there are just a bunch of enemies there, we can teleport out of there if it gets too dicey. And that would be good. That would be very good indeed. I wonder how easy that battery is actually to reach, because otherwise I might actually go for both the curse room and the challenge room as well just to get those remaining pickups oh that's actually pretty easy to reach and again it's a bunch of enemies so what a surprise the curse room was not a friend who would have seen that coming i definitely didn't uh i should just go out like i if i took more damage there i probably would have uh would have teleported out but since i didn't i might as well just walk out there's hearts everywhere anyway but I can at least go in here, go into this room, get ourselves some great chesty goodies, and leave. I don't really want to deal with those guys. We might be able to get some good stuff out of that, but nah, I'm not going to bother. I'm actually not even going to bother to go back for that battery, I don't think. I don't think it's really necessary currently, so that's fine. Nothing in there. Um, what I might do actually is just take some damage there and find ourselves a half heart. That seems like a pretty good idea. That's a full heart. Uh, I think there's a half heart all the way in the challenge room. Because when you get to a single, like, half a heart of health with that thing, it should just spawn a chest at all times. And if we can get something good out of that, that would be great, except that we can't actually enter that room. Alright, cool. Um... Right, that that makes that trickier, I suppose. That adds a small problem to that idea. Idea. Oh well. Can we get something good out of the skull? No. I don't know why I even tried. <laughs> I don't really actually know why I even tried that, but it was worth a shot somehow in my mind, somewhere along the line. I guess I'll just run over it one more time, see if something will happen, and if it doesn't, then whatever. Yeah, there we go. 
unfortunate, but nothing we can really do about it. So we'll just leave like this, I think. Was there anything in the shop worth buying? Not really. Not really. So we'll just leave. I was actually tempted to buy that bomb thinking about it, but no. Oh. Take those, and onwards we go. We got a little bit of damage right now. Still pretty much no speed, but okay. Got a bunch of keys at least, so that's kind of good. Let's see if there's a secret room anywhere here. That would make going into that room a little bit less pricey. We have five keys, but for some reason I value keys more than bombs currently. I'm not sure why actually, but I just sort of do. Something in me head's like, yeah, just do that. Believe in me. And I'm willing to believe that random voice in my head, so there you go. That's my uh, logic right there. That's my choice and decision-making process in a nutshell. So I'm just going to clear this room. going to use my moon card. Oh, God, that meat cube actually saved me there. <laughs> that meat cube actually cost, like, stopped me from taking some damage there. I'm actually going to go to the left. Um, I forgot that I had the moon card forever, so I'm just actually going to clear this room out. And try not to take too much damage. It would be cool if we could see our health, but our health currently is two red hearts and three soul hearts, so it doesn't matter too much. And we're just going to go in here, I think. And hope that our secret room is not next to that one, otherwise it would be a bit of a waste, obviously. Uh, I don't think I can take this. We've already skipped a guppy piece, and this is like the most common one as well, so it's like, nah, not worthwhile. And it is not where I thought it would be, but that's okay. It is over here, and that gives us a reasonable reason to actually just uh, use that key to go into the door. And I missed that guy, so that's good. <laughs> that was some damage I didn't need to take right there, but what are you going to do? It's too late for that now. Get our keys back. We actually got a lot of bombs out of that, and then we got our key back as well. At least a key, so that's pretty decent. It really wants me to take that thing, but I'm not going to do it. I, I refuse. I refuse to take that thing. I have no real use for it, unfortunately. I'd rather have my moon cards right now. Seems a little bit more valuable to me currently. Oh boy. A lot of these purple enemies are fighting this run as well. A lot of these guys that shoot random tears all over the place that are very easy to do that... Extra bit of chip damage right there. Oh god, more tier rate but lower range. I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. That pretty much did nothing for us. I think that pretty much just lowered our range right there and made our character look a little bit happier. At least sometimes. We're no longer really looking all that happy, actually. But for a small moment of time, we looked slightly happier than previously. Nothing in here. Just skulls. <laughs> just enemies, obviously. Oh god, that was a full heart of damage. That was a full heart of damage right there. Full soul heart gone, so that's just peachy. I think we have one left now? Something like that? Uh, I need to remember where the spikes are when I do these things, because that catches me so much as well. Like, just accidentally running into a spike when you're just backtracking through a couple rooms every now and again. It's very easy to get caught by that. And it's a bad mistake to make. It costs so much. It costs so much. Especially with a run like this, where health is not overly common, to say the least. It's not an overly common material to us right now, so I'm not really digging that too much. What do we got over here? Which floor are we on? Depths 2, 48 hour energy. That's not bad, I suppose. Could be worse. Could be better, but could be worse as well. So at least we didn't take damage from that. We didn't lose a heart container either. So it could definitely could have been a lot worse, all things considered. Yeah. Now we got it. Now we've pretty much won. I don't think we can lose from this point. Able, pretty much the best item in the game right there. I need to know how to get through that room without taking damage. This is a room that I very rarely actually see. But when I do, I just run into enemies. I think I can just run into the middle of the room as well without really any consequences, but... I don't know, I always panic in that room, really. It's something I shouldn't be doing. Panicking is a good way of dying in this game. And if you don't panic, you die a lot less. You, you'll still die from time to time, but... It's less likely you'll die, and that's good. I'm gonna just break a bomb over here, I think. Try and break as many rocks as possible. was hoping to get health out of that, but, you know, this run's not really made out of health, unfortunately. This run is not made for getting health out of anything anywhere, so we're just not going to get that this time around. Oh, oh god, that was a champion's 
bubble as well. So much damage is being taken this run. Which is really something we can't afford to take damage from this random crap everywhere, but... It's what we're doing. I'm gonna take this thing. That's too good. And... Vision? That's not bad. Uh, Vision also shows where super secret room are. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, actually. Getting a free map every single floor. I'm actually gonna put some coins into here for later runs. You never know. And 15 coins should be enough to leave us alone for a while, so that's nice. Don't like these rooms very much. Don't like to deal with these enemies. A lot of tears everywhere. A lot of damage being taken all over the place, and not a lot of damage being dealt from us, unfortunately. Our damage is still pretty much pathetic, so... That's not so great. At least we still got Taurus in the end, but... God, I need more damage. I really do need some more. This is not gonna last. This might be good, I guess. We might get something out of this. Maybe get some more terror cards, maybe some soul hearts. Hey! Now that is good. That is something we desperately needed right now. It would be nice if we got some more, but... It doesn't look like this is the run to beg. This is not the run where we're actually going to be getting things, unfortunately, so... Uh, at least we got some of our coin backs there, but... Ugh. At least we got a soul heart out of that, I suppose. At least it's something. It's more than nothing in the end. It's barely more than nothing, but more than nothing regardless. Meat Cube saving us a couple times there. And... We will be going into the womb after this, so having a little bit more health would have been nice, but oh well. Emperor card? Oh god. Yeah, that's actually better than the moon now that we have vision. So I guess I'll take that. Well... I guess I'll go? Like, I... I guess I'll have to, really. Guess I'll have to. I don't really have much choice in the matter. Our damage, though. Did I mention that my damage is not very good this run? Because it isn't. It really isn't very good right now. If we can get a Hierophant card, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. I can just keep you... Oh my god. I got stopped twice already during this battle. Are you kidding me, dog? A lot of unnecessary damage this run that I just can't afford, but I keep doing it. I don't know what it is with me today. It's just one of those days where dodging is just out of the question or something, because I'm just taking damage from everything. Just taking damage everywhere. It's such a waste. And it's probably one of the easier bosses as well. Like, is this not a hard boss at all? It wasn't even the champion version or anything. Oh, and I, for I only saw that Tintic Rock when I left as well, so that's perfect. Oh my god, what a nightmare. <laughs> uh, mistakes were made in pretty much every regard. There is really no justification there. It was just mistakes all over the place. World card, hermit card, moon card, and another hermit card. Pretty much does nothing. But that's good. I I genuinely would be surprised if this run makes it to the end. Like, this this is just nothing. I'm the, I just don't have anything. I just don't have anything. Like, the only thing I have is Taurus, pretty much. Which is doing more harm than good, because we're just not dealing enough damage to clear out the rest of the room afterwards. And we got Cursed Charm of the Vampire, I guess. So that's really been very helpful. And the enemies are also... They don't really care about my Taurus. They just leave for a while, and then they come back when it's over a lot of the time. It's really not very good. Really not very good at all. But let's see how far we can get, I guess. This is just one of them runs where it's like, let's see if we can make it to, like, the cathedral or something. And with a small miracle, we'll be able to make it further than that, but... I have no hope for this. Like, we're just not getting health. We're just not getting health. We're just not getting damage. And those are things you just need. <laughs> you need something. We got sad bombs, I guess. But then there's rooms like this where it's like, well, let's hope that he doesn't spawn too close to you because otherwise you just die. And that would be sad. What are you going to do about it? Well, uh, hope. Leave. That's pretty much it. We're just, yep, there we go. That was a good way to take some extra damage. Uh, and what are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing indeed. Just hope that you accidentally see the Tinted Rock for a change in these floors and... Other than that, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just survive. Let's just get hearts out of these things and not just random tear explosions. Like we've been getting so far. We got this, easy. No problem. Oh, good. Yeah, perfect. Yep, there we go. Uh... Oh my god. Well, I got two of them, at least. 
But we're a little bit low on health right now. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Please give me something in here. Just give me back my health. Like, I'm pretty okay with that. I guess I could just farm these guys for health for a bit because I can't actually get close enough to deal damage. And that's a bit of an issue. At least Abel can do something now. Abel's being really useful currently. There we go. That was what I was waiting for. Charm of the Vampire is actually helping out a lot right now, so I guess I got that going for me. <laughs> it's something. It'll have to do for now, I guess. Charm of the Vampire is pretty much healing me up to full pretty much every single room. And I am <laughs> taking damage pretty much every single room as well, so it's working out in that regard. Oh, boy. And there's this stuff. Like, I'm just gonna let Abel do all the work. Like, let's just have Abel kill everyone. I'm not gonna be doing it. Like, I'm just not... I can't... I'm dealing about as much damage as Abel right now, so... Might as well let him do all the work. At least he can't die. More than nothing in the end. There we go. That was what I was waiting for. Alright, what do we got over here? Justice card? Do I want to keep Justice? Apparently there was a Tinted Rock there, so that's actually quite good. And what were... Pulse Worm, whatever it's called. Um, alright. I'll just use that. I'll just use that again. Just Red Hearts. No, Soul Hearts. This Pearl is really being quite useful. In that regard right now, it's uh, really showing off how good it can be. And we're fighting Mr. Fred, so we got some chance of not taking damage. But I've been pretty horrible with this boss battle lately, so... We'll just see what happens, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Nearly got me there. Like, theoretically, this guy shouldn't ever damage you, because... He doesn't really have the attacks to do that. Like, he has that right going for him, and that's pretty much about it. It's just like the random crap that he can spawn, which is... The main danger in this battle, but even that, it shouldn't harm you, theoretically. Like, the he's not strong. He's not a strong attacker at all. So, logically, you should just beat this guy without ever taking damage, but you never know. Anything can deal damage if you fight him long enough, so there is that as well. Can we get anything? Got a devil deal, surprisingly enough. Probably going to fight Krampus at this point because we haven't seen him in a while. Two of diamonds. Might as well use it. There's no point. Devil card? That's not bad. That's not bad. If there's Krampus here, I'll just use it there, I guess. Oh. Hmm. I'll just take the extra damage. It's something, I suppose. I just need it right now. Can't really afford not to take that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm uncertain about Emperor as well, actually, because I do have Vision. Yeah, I'm just, I'll just keep it like this, I think. This seems like the better choice in the end. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 indeed. Two great chests. There's this mini-boss here. With some luck, we might get some health out of that. Depending on which mini-boss it is. Maybe we can get a cool new Derek card as well. There we go. Who is it? It is Mr. Wrath. Who doesn't really do a whole lot, but could be worse, I guess. At least it's not like... Uh, it would have been good if it was Super Pride, actually. Super Pride would be pretty great if it was Super Pride. That could have given me a dead cat, and that would have been great. But Ultra Pride, that's the one I don't really want, because that one just gives left hands, usually, and I don't really need that right now. Although those, give, those do increase the chance of Soul Hearts, I suppose, in a way. But that would have been kind of good, I guess. But, meh, we'll be okay. We got we got some extra damage now, at least, and I think it is actually like noticeably helping out a lot right now, so... I got some... I'm gonna go into that arcade room in any case, because there's one thing that I kind of need to do that kind of befuddled me for a while, because I didn't know how certain things worked in the video's games. And I'm trying to get rid of that guy, because he's really the only one that can deal damage. I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit. It's not even gonna risk it. Not even gonna risk it. There we go. But I want to go into the arcade room really quite badly, because there's a thing that I don't have unlocked yet. Oh, look at this. Look at Abel right there. He's doing the damage. He's doing it. He's causing the murders. Weird how he's shooting it up, actually, right now. Not really sure what's up with that, but all right, I suppose. There we go. Was pretty much just waiting for that anyway, but if Abel managed to kill him that way, that I guess that works too. Uh, but yeah. We're just gonna keep going in this general direction. Hopefully they don't spawn on top of me. That would be perfect. And then... We win the game. We at least made it all the way over here. So, we're, like, we're not... With the mark, we've, we've got some hope, I suppose. We just need to be very, very careful. Oh, that's too good. That's... 
That's probably better than Emperor, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know what to take here. Oh, God. Do I want Vision or do I want Emperor? Oh, boy. I actually probably want Emperor thinking about it. Because... The chest. Because the chest, pretty much. That's pretty much the reason right there. Oh, boy. This is a nasty room. That I do not like at all. And we took damage. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. What a horrible room. Oh, my God. How are you supposed to deal with this with a build like this? I don't know. I'm tempted to just use this right now, actually. Like, I don't think I can survive this otherwise. It's just too much. It's just too much crap everywhere. Oh, God. Enemies literally everywhere. It's flying from every direction. What a horrible room. Oh, my God. Like, that Elga's room will probably keep me alive during the mom fight, but what, what then? What am I supposed to do afterwards? Oh, but, 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 but. And that was just a bunch of tear explosions, so that's just peachy. What do we got? All right, this room's not too bad. We can just wait it out again. We're just gonna let Abel do all the work. It worked with the champion version, so it'll probably work for this guy since he has health, have the health. And... Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I... Too scared. This, this room will almost certainly damage me otherwise. And with some luck, we might be able to get something out of here. I have... Have I gone into my... Hang on. Have I gone into my super secret room yet? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. God, what a room here, though. Look at this. The entire room was filled with enemies. We're, we just move around at the speed of nothing. Oof. Guess I'll take that right immediately, but there you go. But yeah, um... The... There is actually an item you unlock by destroying 30 slot machines, and currently I'm at 29. Oh, but apparently you actually have to blow them up. That's cool. All right. I guess you just need to actually use bombs instead. I guess that's why I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, that's mean. And nothing from you. I guess I'll play with this thing for a while then. Maybe we'll get soul hearts. That's pretty much what I'm going for right now. Maybe we'll get soul hearts from it. And it would keep us alive for a lot longer. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to play here for a bit. Just need to hope that he actually gives hearts ever, and that those hearts are actually soul hearts, but so far we're only getting keys, of which we already have 16! There we go, with some luck. Ah, we had some way of turning this into soul hearts, that would be perfect. If we had the dark bum right now, then this run would be fine, with the amount of red hearts we've gotten during this run, but... It's not what we need. Not what we need at all. But yeah, I don't know what to do with this Algus rune now, because I kind of wanted to use it during the mom fight, but then... Then scary happened, and that's that's that, really. <laughs> that is that indeed, so... Yeah... I'm tempted to just use the rune itself now, because, but I don't know. I'd still need to get through the cathedral as well, and that's really the problem with that idea. More red hearts. This pearl, by the way, is just doing nothing. This pearl is literally doing nothing at all. It is ridiculously bad, this run, and it's almost impressive to a degree how useless this item has been. So it would be good if at any point you drop a soul heart. I mean, there's like an increased chance, I believe. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding how this item works. That's also entirely possible, I suppose, but... I thought it was that there's just like a chance that it would turn red heart drops into soul hearts. And we've seen so many red hearts and no soul hearts at all. Just none, pretty much. It's been sort of impressive. But there you go. Just managed to shoot that bomb out of the way. Nothing. And... Nothing. Well, I'm gonna clear some rooms, I guess. I'll keep Emperor at ready in case it becomes a room which I'll just take damage in without really being able to do anything about it, but... For now, we only need to clear two more rooms and then we will be able to use that rune, so that'll be good. Oh boy, careful now. At least that was a nice and small one. Oh my god, why? Hands coming out of the sky. Watch out for the hands. 
they do ever spawn, that will be good. There we go. Hopefully that there's not a fourth one. There we go. That's good. I'm gonna hide behind these rocks. And I'm gonna just stay all the way over here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Can we get a raw liver? <laughs> raw liver from the secret room. Nope. And we got a battery though. Uh, so that's kind of alright, I guess. Would have been good if we knew about that battery beforehand. Um, because then I wouldn't have blown up the donation machine here. <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh well. There we go. Let's get rid of this guy. There we are. Yeah, um, I guess I'll just kill the boss with this rune. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just use the meat cube a lot. That's pretty much the plan currently. The meat cube and sad bombs is pretty much how it's going to go. Because I don't really have a choice in the matter. Oh, perfect. She immediately got up as well. She did not wait for any second. But this is strong enough. There we go. There we go. Who needs health, right? Who needs health indeed? There we are. I uh, wish I could take... I uh, wish I could take three things. <laughs> Would have been good, but oh well. We got the compass at least, so that at least gives us some idea if there's something worthwhile, I suppose, but... Yeah. We just need to clear three rooms, really. We got an extra heart from that eternal heart as well. But I don't know, and three rooms here? Not the easiest thing in the world, obviously. Was hoping for a secret room there, but... Nope. Tempted to go in the direction of, um... That mini-boss, and I think I might just do that. Oh god, death, why? Why are you here? Why, of all the bosses that could have appeared this day, it had to be the one that spawns a million scythes everywhere. That just keep flying through the room forever. Oh my god, there we go. Die, please. And that's too slow, but at least we got him off of his horse. We still have one and a half heart, thanks to Charm of the Vampire being weirdly useful this run. One of the most weirdly useful items this entire run so far. It's been surprising, really. And let's hope we don't take damage here. It's always a question with this dude. And there we go. Very little we could really do about that one, unfortunately, but oh well. I'll rest. There we go. Ugh. Right, mini boss. Be lust, really? That was pretty much what I was hoping for. Just be lust. Or not lust, um, gluttony. That's pretty much the only one I wanted to see here. Pretty much the only one I wanted to see there. But, oh well, we might get some health back this way, I suppose. That's maybe good. Come on, Charm of the Vampire. Oh my god, two? Two curse, <laughs> two troll bombs. All right, sick. Um, we can get another half heart. I might just use the emperor card to get to my boss room. I guess I don't know. I just don't know anymore. This run is a disaster area. I'm surprised we made it to the cathedral <laughs> with this ridiculously stupid run because we just don't have health. We just don't have health ever. We don't have damage or health. Or speed, or anything. We have, we have like tier eight, and that's pretty much it. We got two red hearts, and that's, that's scary. I kind of want to see if I can bomb through this room though. Uh, come on, and out of here. Cause if we can get a tinted rock, if we can get to that library, maybe, maybe we can get something. Maybe we can just get more troll bombs. That's also quite good, I suppose. Just what we needed. There might be a secret room to the right over here. Oh god, and the beggar is in such a fantastic place as well. No secret room? Of course not. Why would there be? Uh, who needs emperor cards when you can just walk? I don't like this room either. Too many tears for my taste. And whatever his name is, the big ball in the middle there. Usually not a friend either, but... Hopefully he'll change his mind this time around. There we go. Clear those two guys. There we go. That got rid of a lot of stuff immediately. So, and there's a half a heart there, so... If need be... We can take some deliberate damage. 
and then uh, go back to Polaroid range, which would obviously be kind of nice. So nice indeed. And now we don't actually have a choice in the matter, but that's okay. Hey, actually we do. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Oh god, Book of Shadows. Tempting, but can't take it. The rules say no. The rules that I've decided for myself, which can be broken at any point whenever I feel like it really, but not just yet. I'm not gonna sacrifice my own rules that quickly. I'm not that much of a coward. I feel like my secret room is like to the left over here. Like there's a pretty good chance, I think. God, <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong in every word that's ever come out of my mouth. That's also possible, I suppose. I mean, at least... Oh my god, it's the, the heaven room. The room of kings. The room of kings. All right. Um. All right. I guess I'll just Algus rune there, then. We've gotten a bunch of extra damage. Our tears look awesome now, by the way. Like, look at those. Look at them tears right now. Look pretty great. Um, I don't know when to use August though. I don't know what a good time is. I don't know if I should just wait for Tauros first, which seems like a more sensible solution. Uh, there we go. This seems like it's a better call. There we go. And then wait for a while for him to do this shenanigan. I might not even need to use it. That would be perfect, actually, if I just don't use it at all. Then I would be able to use it twice during the blue baby fight, and then we just win. And obviously winning is pretty great. So I guess we're just going to do that. We're just not going to use it at all. With this ridiculous build. Oh my god. Not a fun run for anyone involved, but I think it might actually go somewhere suddenly. Surprisingly enough, this run might actually make it to the end. Be just careful enough during this fight. Which should be doable, I think. It's probably not going to teleport away anymore from this point on. Oh my god. God, beams, why? I should have seen that coming as well, really, but oh well. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna take that half a heart over there. He's gonna walk back for that, because it's pretty close anyway. And I guess we're just gonna use Emperor and then Elgus twice, and if he's not dead by then, then I don't know what to do with my life anymore. <laughs> he's not dead by then, then this run is just gonna cry. But we'll see what happens, I suppose. Curse of the Maze as well, so that would have been great. Alright, that's extra damage. That's extra speed. That's extra health, but I think it would actually slow me down considerably, but whatever. We got this. We got this. Oh my god, this run is one of those runs that's not allowed to go this far, but it is. It actually, surprisingly enough, is. It's all because of the BFF in the end there. Like the big beautiful fly or whatever it's called. Look at that. Look at them sad bombs. That, that was pretty much the, the, the savior right there. And I'm just waiting for Tauros for no real apparent reason. Because I think we should be fine. Like, Algus lasts for like a year, so... I'm gonna use it now. Have the music planes fast motion for a little bit longer. Yeah, we got this. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how big this floor is as well. I'm glad I didn't take vision over Emperor. That would have been horrible. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Oh my god. We survived somehow. I don't know how, but we did. We didn't get anything new. Uh, apparently I need to just bomb a, a slot machine, which I'll just do the next run, I guess, and then we'll unlock a thing, which I just forgot to unlock. Just I didn't actually know that that was the requirement for it, and that it doesn't count if you put money in it. So there you go. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>